Hey guys, what's up? Zephyr here, and I will be doing a tutorial today on how to use Neutrino, how to import the files that you will then export with Neutrino, or render with Neutrino, so that way you can mix and master it. Um, the first thing that you are going to need, these are from my previous test, you're going to need Utaformatix. This project, I mean, excuse me, this uh, program lets you import anything from Utau to Vocaloid to Sevio. Uh, you can then export it as an Uto, uh Vocaloid or Sevio file to use. And then you also want to have this program downloaded, MuseScore 3. It is a free program that basically is if you like to make sheet music. But we're going to be using this to export our music XML file because that file extension is what Neutrino is going to be reading so that way it can export. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is have those files downloaded. So for MuseScore, you can just literally look it up and it should be like the first result you see on Google. Go ahead and download and install that. Then you're going to want to look up Utaformatix on Google. I believe the standalone is still somewhere. I'm not sure where, but um, it has a GitHub website now, which you can just use it from your browser. I have not used it, so I'm not going to, but you can use it there. Um, what we're going to be doing is importing our UST file and exporting it as the same UST file just to make sure that everything's right because we want to make sure that the UST file that we export condensi will then be able to import without any problems. So first choose something to something very simple how about jealousy partly clear so what I'm gonna do is open it this is the ring Suzune uh, demo song for those of you who might not be aware we miss ring Suzune every day <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and use my Utah melody because that's not really important the main thing you want to do when you're opening it up you want to make sure that it is in hiragana, so all Japanese symbols. And it's not in VCV format. There's no extra, like there's no E4 or anything like that on any of the notes. So just for simplistic sake, I'm going to crossfade optimize it. I'm not sure if that does anything, but I'm paranoid and I like the extra security. So I'm going to do that, that. And then I'm going to save as, and this is going to be our test. So I'm going to save as test on the, to our desktop. And this is now our test. So I'm going to X out of Utah now because we don't need it. We're done with Utah. Go to our desktop. I already have Utah Formatex opened up. So we're going to take our test file. I'm going to move this here just so the files don't get pushed over into that section. Wait a second because things are being very slow. But now we're going to drag our test file into Utaformatix, let it import. It should only take a couple seconds. Then we're going to export it as Utau again. So it'll change the file name, so don't worry about that. Keep it on our desktop. Hit OK. It'll say that it's been successfully exported. So now we have Jealousy Partly Clear, test. So we can just put change this to JTest, so that way it doesn't try to overwrite the other file. So now we have JTest. So what we're going to do with JTest now is open up Condensi. You can, again, like new score, you can um, go online and find a download for Condensi. You're going to go to File, Open Utah Project File. Go to your desktop. We're going to look for our JTest. Open. You want to make sure this long bar stretches thin because that means that a project has been successfully opened. You want to make sure that your files here are still in Hiragana, which they are. And then from here, we're going to go to File, Export, Music XML File. And then we're going to put JTest one more time. So now that that music XML bleh, that music XML file has been successfully exported, you can now open up MuseScore 
I've already tried something before, so I'm going to be making a new project. both of those and now we can just open file open you're gonna open up your JTAS do you want to load it anyway you're gonna hit yes and when you see it here you want to make sure that the BPM is correct so the BPM for jealousy partly clear was 150 so it's still 150 you want to make sure that all the notes are still the same and they are. There's no special symbols or anything like that. They're all in Hiragana. I'm not sure if that dummy will give us a problem because that's what somebody named their rest note on the Utah file, but it shouldn't give us too many issues. If it does, you can just go through your UST and change it to a rest and it should just convert it to a rest. I don't think that um, Kiritan says anything that isn't in Hiragana though, so we should be fine. So from here, you're going to go to file and export again because this is the final XML file that we need. So I'm going to change this to JTest1 to make sure that the .musicxml file is not conflicting with the one that we already have on our desktop. Make sure it is this extension and not the compressed or uh, compressed music XML file or uncompressed music file. You want to make sure it's uncompressed music XML file. And then you're going to hit save. And it should only take a couple seconds just like with... Um, to Formatix, and that's going to be right here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to cut, and then you're going to go to the directory that you downloaded Neutrino in. So on my documents, I have it on literally just as Neutrino. And what you're going to go from here, you're going to go to score, the score folder. You're going to music XML. Get rid of these. These are my earlier tests. It comes with three free samples. So if you want to see what those sound like, you can render those. But I'm only teaching you how to do a custom one. So paste it here. Same file extension as the rest of these. Dot music XML. So that's fine. Now you're going to go back to the main neutrino part of the folder. You're going to go to run. But before we do anything with this, open up your notepad. Now you're going to click on run and drag it into your notepad. What this does is that it opens up your, um, basically it's almost like a table of contents type thing, which is how I, tr um, basically that's just how I like to tell myself what it is. And uh, you're gonna go to your project settings right here where it says set base name. That is going to be the exact file name that you chose in score. So our file name is jtest1. Make sure you keep the capitalization. I believe that matters. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it matters. So J, capital J, capital T for test, and then the letter one. Once you're done here, that's all you really have to do. Just make sure you hit Control S to save it. Oops. Control S to save it. And now that it's saved, you can click exit. Go back to your main neutrino folder if you aren't already there. And now what you can do, this is the rendering part. So we've done all the hard stuff. We have our file, we've converted our file, we imported our file, and now we're telling the editor or the uh, program, this is what you're going to convert for the voice that we have. And just for uh, tutorial purposes, that voice is Kiritan. So now, double click on run, a command prompt window will open up here. We are now telling the program we need you to render this file that we put. And you should be able to see the exact name of the file right here, JTest1. So it's it's usually like a five to 10 minute process depending on how big of a project it is. But for this, since it's a five minute song, it probably will take a lot longer to render. So just leave it open. Don't mess with it or anything. Let the program run as long as it needs to because once it is finished, it will close on its own. So just let the uh, command prompt run, and then when it is, once it is finished, we will come back. Okay, and we're back. So now that that is done rendering, what you're going to do now is go to your output folder, and the rendered file should be there. 
So there we have it. JTest1, five minute file. Um, didn't mean to choose one that was so heavy, but you know, not heavy, that was so big. But we got through it, we're done. So if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave in a comment. I'll try to answer as many comments as I can. I'll leave the step-by-step -step, uh, written instructions in the comments as well. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, let's go ahead and try to listen to our file real quick and see if we can hear the fruit. <laughs> There it is. So it worked. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.